Hey guys, it's Paige Poppy. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing the time-lapse painting process of this watercolor piece that you are seeing here. This piece started back in January, so right now we're seeing January 30th in my studio, and I was in Old Town Scottsdale, and you guys know I go there all the time, but on this particular week, I was dropping off inventory to one of my retail stockists, and it was right around the corner from the Sugar Bowl. And if you're not familiar, you may not be if you don't live in the area. Uh, the Sugar Bowl is a ice cream parlor that has been in Scottsdale since the 50s and it still retains all of its charm. It's become a little bit more Instagram famous I would say because it is pink and colorful and they really haven't changed it that much since the 50s. A lot of the decor is still in place. It has the old fashioned like soda bar. So it's a place I've always loved. Um, growing up, my best friend and I would always get to go there after our big dance recital for the year. So there's a lot of good memories and it's somewhere that I like to bring out of town guests when they visit. As I was saying, I was in Old Town dropping off retail inventory and I happened to have my camera with me that day and I had a great shot of the sugar bowl. So I decided to make this painting of it. And at this point, what you're seeing here is everything I had finished for the piece in January, but I had yet to do the lettering until this morning. So I don't know why, for whatever reason, last night I was thinking about the painting and I decided today would be the day to finish it. So here you can see that I pulled up a reference image of the sugar bowl and uh, for the main building, portion I was working from my own reference photo but today for the lettering I just needed an up close shot of it so I used this image from Google and I went ahead and did the lettering which is so fun because the colors alternate as you see with this green blue red and soft purple and this entire piece was freehanded as you will see it kind of has some whimsy and angle to it and it's kind of uh just loose freehand piece and I'm so happy with turn how it turned out. I just love the fun spontaneous quality of this piece and it reminds me of my That Pink Door print that you guys may have seen. So here it is hanging on the wall of our home. This is an 11 by 14 watercolor and pencil piece and I am really enjoying being able to bring a place that I love in Scottsdale to life and just kind of pay homage to a city that I have lived in and loved for so many years. So I hope you guys enjoyed the process. Thank you so much for watching and continuing to follow along with my 100 days of videos. Until my next video, I am sending all of my positive and creative vibes your way and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!